why go fast? What's the point? Well, going fast reveals everything. It's the ultimate judgment for your engineering, planning and nerves. You get it wrong? Well, prepare the shovel and go fetch the drone, right? It's the ultimate test for your skills and patience. And honestly, I just love powerful things. Where did all of this start? Well, it was actually between me and other two friends. We were once out and flying and we realized that on the market were coming always better motors, better batteries with more punch, better ESCs. And we asked ourselves, could we actually build something that goes really, really fast? It was kind of a joke, right? But this is how Fastboy 1 was born. When we were done with Fastboy 1, we saw that it was really flying. We already reached around 350 km per hour and this gave us the idea to continue and push beyond the limits, beyond what anyone ever imagined. What makes this more than just a speed project? There is a certain kind of purity that comes with high speed. All components must work in unison together and everything must be in perfect balance. It's like a harmony, a chaos that gets aligned into a single goal going fast. What's like flying it? In FPV is weird, it doesn't look that fast, but one must remember, it does 157 meters per second. That means, especially in Alonok, that the time you see a tree far out in the distance, you are already in the tree. There is no room to think, you just need to react and follow the flow. But the craziest part is the clouds. When we fly FPV, we have the habit of seeing the clouds up there, but still. Well, with this thing, you are just bending the clouds around you. You see yourself moving under the clouds and that is a really strange feeling. And the number 557,64, what does it mean? Well, it means a lot for me. It's not just about speed, but it's the preparation, the testing, the sleepless light and the effort that was put into the project. It was strange watching it all come together in just eight seconds with that flight, actually with those flights that made the record. The record and the final goal is nice, but that's not a real goal. The real goal is the trip that made everything possible. So, this is Fastboy 2. Let's open it up to see what's inside now. So, the three key elements of Fastboy 2 are the following. First of all, the geometry, the whole frame is made out of carbon fiber, with the arms being 3D carved out of a block. So, this means we have like a drop platform that enables better aerodynamics being smaller frontal section. Then we have the fact that these two arms here, because it flies in a plus configuration, are not symmetrical and generate lift. This helps the quadcopter stay horizontal in addition to the thrust coming from the propellers. Finally, the inertial water cooling system is made in order to not use air as a cooling medium. But why? Because using air would augment the drag of the whole quadcopter, so water is used to cool the power electronics. These are the three key elements that enable Fastboy to reach a speed of 557,64 km per hour and be the fastest quadcopter on the planet. So, what's next for this project? For now, Fastboy 2 achieved what it was designed for. So the project is done. Fastboy 2 not only reached the record, but pushed beyond any FPV drone ever did. It set a new benchmark, a new goal for high-speed FPV flight. I hope this sparks a fire in others. I want to see new minds, new pilots and new builders. 
approach this challenge and push it to the next level. Let's redefine speed, redefine possible. I cannot wait to see what the community come up next because at the end, that's the real thrill behind it all.